So Valve decided to make a card game. Sucks, doesn't it? For years, Valve has been known for their innovative games, or at least that's how it used to be. They used to be known for Portal, Half-Life. Hell, even Team Fortress 2 for a while before they decide hats were superior to gameplay. So what happened? Well... Hmm... The big thing that may have happened more than anything is, well, they got too big. Too big to fail, so to speak. But the big thing to note with Valve is they haven't had to make a game in years. Just keep that in mind. They Between Steam, CSGO, and, uh, and Dota printing money for them, they've been pretty content to rest on their laurels. And, well, I think it finally caught up to them. So, back to the original. What does this mean for Valve for gaming? Well, um... Look, I like to play Devil's Advocate, so let's just say it nicely. I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't think it's the end of Valve. But you know what this does mean? As a positive, they're making games again. Even if even if it's not what we wanted, even if it's more, more stuff connected to Dota 2, it's still a game. That, it, that at least tells me that they're willing to get their developers on actually putting out new gameplay. I know fans of CSGO and Dota, I know you're glaring at me right fucking now going, what the hell is this clown talking about? But just if they're willing to make a game at all, that's a good thing, right? This <laughs> My thoughts are a little scattered here cuz believe me, I'm as pissed off as you guys about uh about them making a new game that isn't fucking Half-Life or Portal, or hell, even that Left 4 Dead 3 that they were teasing us with a few years back. But that's fine. That's completely fine. And shit, man. Who knows, maybe it'll be good. Personally, card games ain't my cup of tea, but... You know, I've always believed that... Well, a new idea is a new idea. And a new take on a genre isn't a bad thing. And Valve's always been good at new takes. Again, consider consider Portal. Great game. Revolutionized fucking puzzle games for a while there. Consider TF2. It's what you have to thank for... Primarily for all these hero shooters that have crawled out of the woodwork nowadays. I mean, the credit will go to Overwatch, but let it be known... Team Fortress Classic and later Team Fortress 2 were what caused that. If there is another cause, I'm missing it. Well, I mean, I guess there is enemy... <sighs> enemy unknown? That's not important. Anyways, but they've always been good at innovation, plain and simple. So, back to the original question yet again. What does this mean for Valve? Well, it means they're still alive, and they haven't fired everyone, so we got that going for us, which is nice. And, well, you know, it would be absolutely great if this is a harbinger to them actually doing more stuff. I know they're not working on New Half-Life. They've openly said they're not. But, well, can hope, right? We can hope. That's all, guys. I... And I just wanted to put my thoughts out there. Just... Okay, I have a... Actually, no, I do have a continuation. Look, I'm someone who unironically likes No Man's Sky, so I believe that even though the things that are considered the absolute worst have some merit to them, right? So this card game may very well have some purpose. Hell, they may be using it as a way to get new new developers up to up to speed with their process. I know Valve does the uh, small indie startup shit, 
So uh, their their uh, stru- business structure is pretty different to say the likes of I don't know EA or Activision. God, I hope so at least because they do not have the people to maintain a structure like that. But well, anyways, point is, it's not all bad. It's disappointing, sure, but the sky ain't falling. It's just raining a bit. You guys take care.